Kentucky at Navy, 2.30 p.m. Central Time on Saturday. I'm sports columnist David Harden. Football beat writer Jonathan Lindner. And our special guest this weekend, uh, women's soccer beat writer Cole Claiborne. All right, and we have our game preview with you now. Let's call it a less than impressive uh, loss at home against Central Arkansas. Now it doesn't get a lot easier going to Navy. Navy's a pretty good Russian football team. Yeah, they've led the nation actually the last four years in rushing, and Western's giving up over 275 yards per game in offense, and Navy's triple option offense is going to come at them in full force. Western, um, their defense, is, they said they're going to defend it with an assignment-based defense, meaning that every man on defense is going to have an assignment on offense, like similar to, say, a man-to-man -man in basketball. And, what, and the way Navy's offense works is they've got slot back here, slot back here, full back, and of course the quarterback. And slot backs can come in for fake or the fullback. They can also run a sweep, hitch it. They can even pass out of this formation. So it's something that Western's going to have a lot of trouble defending. Yeah, like you said, Western not very good against the run. And maybe the last four years has led the nation in rushing. This year, with uh, some graduation, graduation of a few key players, they're only averaging 201 yards rushing, but uh, still pretty potent. Now, uh, and some pretty good opponents. Yeah, yeah, West. yeah. Not, not bad. Now, what is going to be one of the keys uh, in terms of players for Western to just watch out for? Well, I'm looking at Mark Santoro yeah. in the defensive backfield because, you know, like it or not, a lot of these plays are going to break into the yeah. secondary. And uh, being, he comes back as Western's leading tackler from last season. He's made an impact this year, but hasn't really broken out yet. So I'm looking for him to make an impact in this game and keep, you know, the 20-yard rushes down. That's going to be tough. Also, watch out for Ricky Dobbs, uh, Navy's quarterback. He leads the team in rushing, though it's a pretty even, I guess, a real even attack. We've got uh, three players, 150 yards or more rushing this season. It's going to be really tough uh, for this team to be stopped. Now, Cole, uh, we brought you in for one reason, really. We want a, a prediction. Uh, we're not too good at it this, this number of years. Then you predicted Western. Yeah, yeah, seven. and that's pretty much why we brought you in here. You know, you, you might have a whole lot of better not, not watching uh, football as you do than the soccer league thing. Well, you see, I think the, the rushing, the fact that like you said the Navy is just going to be too much for the, the Western defense to handle. I'm looking at a 35-6 to six score this weekend. I think uh, Casey Tenney has been really one of the only bright spots on the offense. Uh, I think we'll get some chances to kick some field goals. I think that's basically the only positive thing we might see this week. Hopefully the defense will step it up against the run, but it just looks like too many options for the defense to handle. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, uh, Cole, we appreciate you having, having you on, and uh, thanks, thanks for coming on for us. And for uh, David Harton, Jonathan Lindner. Thanks for watching.